Today, we're going to take a break from reviewing the big stuff such as camera tripods and talk about this little thing. Now this is a CPL filter. It basically cuts down reflections made from rays from the sun to be able to give you a clearer image or video. Above this, I'm also going to talk about another filter which you can basically clip onto this phone to be able to give you a much clearer focusing range. So, if you're interested in what these two lens can do for your photography game, then you might want to stick around. For a start, let's take a look at what it looks like on my screen itself. So how did I achieve all of these effects? If you can see at the back, once I rotate my lens itself, it actually becomes darker and brighter. This kind of filters that I'm actually holding is called CPL, Circularizing, Circular Polarizing Filter. It basically cuts down some reflected light from the polar rays from the sun. Now if you're asking me, does it actually affect uh, if I'm using lights? So lights aren't polarized, polarized uh, rays of lights. So that does not really affect. It only affects those rays that's actually coming from the sun. Alright, so now let's take a look at the panels behind me as the reflections disappear. This is like the before. And here is like the after. Okay, before you'll see a lot of the white spots. And then after. Alright, so we are actually out of that place. So basically this area that we are in is called Gardens by the Bay and there are two observatories. One is called the Flower Dome and the other one is called the Club Forest. Now behind here is a pond. Let's take one more quick um, before and after reflections photo to show you the difference. Then I'll show you guys on the other lens. So you can see this lens is really amazing. Just by twisting it, I'm able to adjust the increments and effectively remove all of these uh, polar reflections. Now let's touch on the next lens, which is this close-up <laughs> here. Now this is the Night X um, 10 times close-up lens. Both of these are of different brands, so if in case you are curious if they can stack, they cannot. Unless you're all getting the Ulanzi ones, then there's actually a possibility of stacking it. But I actually got this for just below 10 bucks. So I was thinking, how effective is this in helping me to increase focus? Let's test it out. 
So previously, it actually attaches to this, for the Ulan Z1, it attaches to the MagSafe. And if you're wondering, it's actually pretty strong. Throughout all the videos that I've taken, it actually hasn't fall off. Now, this Knight X one, if we remove it, okay, it comes with this clip. So what you want to do is to clip it against your camera lens over here, at the back, somewhere over here, and you'll take this lens to screw it in. So this is how it looks like, close up. And let's give it a go. Okay, let me just remove it first. This is just the normal lens itself. And this is the... Alright, so once it reaches up, the close up isn't that nice. But once we attach this lens... Okay, give this very nice micro effect. So, what do you guys think about this clip-on filter? Neat, huh? Or you guys prefer the effect that actually is coming out from this Ulanzi CPL filter? Now, personally, I'm actually quite impressed with this, which I got for less than 10 bucks. I did not expect the results to be this good, to be honest. For this filter, I think it's really useful if you're actually shooting outdoors and there are actually a lot of reflections all around. Or if you're actually shooting behind a glass panel, this is very effective in removing those reflections. Which of these do you guys prefer? I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments below. If not, see you guys in the next video.